it's not an early start at the club today, first day back, we just sort of roll in, um, get our skin folds done. <laughs> Yeah, I think it'll be good just to sort of get out there. Um, we'll probably prefer to be on the sideline at some stages while we're doing all the running. But um, no, last year we were itching to get out there and do everything. So I'm um, looking forward to it this year. Should be good. Um, being away for so long, you don't really see, see many of them. You only like, you know, send everybody a message. So um, yeah, it should, should be good to get back and be amongst the boys again. Sort of miss that culture a little bit. It's hard to tell where you're at until you do it all. Because you're not, you're not, yeah, not going to test it or anything, but um, I guess, yeah, I think I had a pretty good off season. Like, did all the training and stuff like that. So, hopefully, I'm in good shape and feeling fit and strong. So, I can um, have a big preseason and improve in the next couple of months, ready for the, the season to start. Good how you see you see how you Still Yeah, it was good. <laughs> how are you going? How are you rolled it back on? Yeah, really good. Yeah, it was a little different um, than last year. Last year I was very nervous coming in, not knowing what, what to expect. So it's pretty refreshing being able to come in already knowing everyone. Um, but yeah, the, the last couple of days have been pretty good getting back amongst the boys. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, Seeing Hannah's come into the club, obviously watching him for so many years as a kid, being one of the premier players in the comp. Um, I didn't expect him to, to be here yesterday, so like, I remember I was just weighing myself and I turned around and he was standing there and I sort of was like, shit, like, Hannah, Hannah's is here. Dan is definitely someone that I'll try and uh, pick his brains, I guess. Obviously he's played in the premiership and he's been a superstar of the competition for the last 10 years, so he's someone that I'll definitely try to um, learn off um, all the little tricks that he knows and um, yeah, try and just follow in his footsteps. Being one of the, the best players in the competition, you sort of look up to him when you're 15, 16 years old and to be, to be running around with him now and then just sharing the rooms with him is pretty surreal. Um, but yeah, I know Pato and um, Daltz just around when he signed with us, well, they were up in Byron and they saw him so they went and had a chat to him. Um, yeah, so I think Daltz was a bit of a fanboy with that. <laughs> time this year compared to last year I feel a lot more comfortable um, kind of know what it, what's expected of me um, and kind of um, know what to expect out of myself so yeah pretty pretty excited for it um, to look at it in a way to improve a lot and get the best out of myself so yeah it's it's definitely a lot different though than my first year oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. Me, Dalton and Koff all moved in together pretty much three, two or three months into pre-season. So yeah, we were lucky to get drafted together and then um, all moved into a house together. So that's brought us closer. Being a young kid coming in, not knowing anyone, playing in under 18s against these boys, it's pretty refreshing being able to go back to those boys and then even go home and hang out with them. Oh. <laughs> it makes it a bit easier when you get home, you got someone who's doing the same thing as you so you don't have to really talk about it all the time or anything like that. It takes away a bit of the stress, I think, and the pressure. Um, you can just muck around with them at home and, yeah, it's made it a lot easier, I think. Jeez. Do you reckon 3K is off if there's lightning? That's me done. Nah. <laughs> no way. Stop. We got pretty lucky. Yeah, our, our group of five in in last year's draft are really close. Um, we formed a great bond. We love spending time with each other. So um, it's a shame Clav doesn't want to doesn't want to come live with us because he's a bit cheap. But um, wants to stay at home with his parents. But yeah, we'd love it if Clav came because we've got a. I think we've got a, a, a vacancy in the room coming up in a couple of months. So yeah, if it's a new draft there, one of the other boys, we're open to welcoming you into the fold. Um, yeah. So just chuck the the beef and the and the pork on here with the onions and some other stuff. We'll, Chuck the veggies on later, but trying to get a good feed in uh, before the time trial tomorrow, so we can 
yeah, have a crack. So yeah, there is a bit of um, competitiveness between all three of us. I guess we've all got different attributes and all different types of things. So when we're in the gym or out in the track or like at home cooking or something like that, we all um, like to just have a few jokes and laughs about who's better at what um, and who's not doing too well and something. So we, it's all in good spirits though. But um, yeah, we all try and push each other to get better. Oh, oh shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Did you actually throw it? Don't be a dick. Oh, don't, don't throw it in the kitchen. Don't that's, be silly. That's shit out. We're like all first years, we'd all trained as hard as we could. Um, did everything to put our hand up. And then obviously we both debuted in different rounds, but the game we finally got to play together, I think it was the draw. As White goes back from whence it came. Coffield and Clark, the two youngsters combined. Before the game, you go around, shake everyone's hands and just wish each other good luck and stuff, tell each other your strengths. So it was pretty cool. Again, once we got to each other, it was pretty special and um, yeah, something that I'll remember for a while. I think from a one to four year perspective almost, our improvement's gonna come a lot from within us. So personally, I think to take my game to the next level and help the team improve, I've got to obviously get a lot better. Hopefully transition a bit more into the midfield and get my fitness up and strength up. So this preseason, that's probably my main goal. Yeah, all us young players doing those types of things would definitely help the team take the next step. Yeah, just trying to keep building a, a pretty good fitness base, which will obviously keep going, going up from year to year, but um, just getting a good base for that and then sort of working with the midfielders a little bit, trying to improve the contested side of my game so I can be a bit more versatile and um, yeah, play a few more different positions. Yeah, I was pretty lucky to play early on in the season, so I didn't sort of drag out and we could get that out of the way. So it was a great experience. Um, obviously pretty grateful to play, play about 10 games. So. Um, Hopefully a few more next year, but yeah, it was a great experience to, to get a taste of it now while I'm still young. I've always wanted to play footy and now that I'm on a list, I guess, after one year, uh, I've kind of know where I'm at, so I just want to get better than that and I want to be as good an AFL player as I can be um, and as quickly as I can be. Every training session, weight session, I just want to do everything that's going to make me um, yeah, become an elite AFL player.